Uh, Luminate with Lex. I'm Lex. I was just, I'm obsessed with using the blend brush lately. I'm sure you've been able to tell that, but I'm just going to do my makeup with you um, using the blend brush and only the blend brush, this cute little tiny piece of wonder. Um, does it all and it kind of blends it out as you go and I love that it makes it super simple and quick So this is our new palettes. They are still in stock in all sizes And this is the Demir Blanc and we also have the Demir Noir, which is the black and cream checkered so Get those if you want them and I'm just going to do my makeup. This this is all I'm going to put on my face right on the top there and I'm just going to use the blend brush I like this brush because you blend as you go and you can kind of do just a light airy look for whatever you're up to. Okay, so I'm going to go into my contour color. Remember that contour is ashy and bronzer is warm. Okay, because contour is going to um, be like a shadow. So you kind of want it to be a little ashy in color. And it goes in our kind of like concave places of our face, whereas bronzer, you kind of want to put on the top, like the um, <clears throat> the rounded parts of your face. So right up and under that cheekbone, just a nice little dusting of contour color using that blend brush. You see why I like this brush? Kind of blend as you go. This is a brush to make sure that you're not using too much, which is great. So I'm just went up and under my cheekbone and then I don't go in my temples anymore because you can see that I have a little bit of hollowing there. So remember, if you put a dark color where you're already concave, it's going to make it look more concave. So stay away from that if you have what I got and just go right above to to shadow that forehead, make it look a little bit shorter. OK. I like the blend. Look at this. And this fits nicely in your purse. It's really, it's really a dynamite brush. So now I'm going to go kind of eyebrow line down my nose just to kind of narrow it. So yesterday, Kale's teacher, my little six-year-old, one of the twins, he, she's like, she normally doesn't pull me over. She has a few times. One to tell me that he went to the principal's office because his friend dared him to go in the girl's bathroom. And what did he do? Um, but this time she's like, Kale kind of had a hot flash in, during math. So I just went down, eyebrow line down on both the sides. And you notice these lines aren't harsh with the blend. And then I kind of cut it off there right at the tip. And then I'm going to go right up and under that lip for some added pucker. Why not? This is easy to do. So you might as well do it unless you got a real nice juicy lip then you probably can skip that step. I did get a nice, my dad's got it. I get a lot of stuff from my dad. The weird feet, sorry dad. The short stature, sorry dad. And the big bottom lip. Okay, so now we're just going right along the jawline. So finishing with Kale. So he had like this little hot flash where he was like sweating. And, um, and I think his face got really red. And so his teacher took him by the window that she has by her desk and he kind of cooled off. So I just put this on the bottom of my jawline. So she's like, well, maybe he's getting sick or something. And he seemed normal. You know, he's the normal crazy kale that I love. And so I just watched him overnight. He was fine overnight. But then my mind starts thinking the pediatric nurse in me, well, maybe he's Maybe he's presenting with diabetes insipidus, and I need to see if he's peeing a lot overnight and asking him, how much are you peeing, Kale? You know, but I really think it's nothing, but yeah. Okay, so we kind of contoured and shadowed my face. Now I'm going into the lightest color of the 3D foundation with the same brush. I like these brushes because they're made for this cream. They pick it up, deposit it, and the blend kind of helps you not use too much. So a little bit between the brows here. Yeah, he seemed just fine for school. Um, one of the days that they had, they do this countdown at the end of the year where they have something for the kids, like till the end, it's like the alphabet. And C was compliment day. And so the kids wrote cards to each other on what, um, you know, 
they liked about their friends. So Kale wrote one to a couple of his buddies and then he got a couple and want this cute little card from his friend Cardic. So I'm just putting a little brightening highlight on the inner corner of the eye and then the outer corner of the eye and then always kind of dragging up because we want to lift the eye. And his card said, Kale, thanks for helping me run fast at recess. And Kale says they work on running fast at recess. I don't know how you help someone run fast, but super cute. I'm like, I'm saving this card. It's adorable. So a little bit of brightening highlight on the inner corner of both eyes here. And then a little brightening highlight on this outer corner and a lift. You see the blend brush is we're blending as we go. It's lifting. It's super quick. You're not having any harsh lines that you have to worry about buffing out in the end. Um, and I think these are still like the, um, let's see, the wash brush and there's another brush, shape brush over on the demi side of our brushes. They're actually all under brushes. I think they're still on sale and they're very similar to this brush. So if you're interested in this, you might want to grab one of those. They are cheaper, the cheaper chicken right now. So I'm going into the main highlight, just dabbing. And remember, digging, swiping is not going to serve you at all because this is highly pigmented cream and it will feel like frosting if you do that. So you just want to pick up a small amount with a dab and then basically dab this color on. You can see a little bit will do you real well. So just placing this kind of on the lower half of the face and I'm just going to do one final little blend out sesh, but you see how nice the blend is to have for this. And we are going to start swimming lessons at Safe Splash. And I kind of like the privates, but it's like a bazillion dollars. So I think I'm going to contact Augie because we did do that one year and that's a little bit cheaper. But when there's five kids in one class and my twins are they can swim, but not swim, you know, they're like not quite there. They kind of need a little bit more one on one because it's 30 minutes. And when you have four kids at that level, like how much do they really get out of it for the amount of money you're paying? I do love Safe, Safe Splash. We were with them till now. I feel like they really helped my kids with swimming, but they're kind of just about there to the point where they can do it themselves. So they just kind of need a little bit more. I should probably just go back to Safe Splash since they helped us so much, but it, you, it's a little, when you have three kids in swimming lessons, it's, it's a lot. Okay, so we look at this, the blend. I'm telling you, this brush, it's a must have. I'm gonna go into Dahlia. I love this color, especially for spring and summer. She, remember, she's a satin, so she's gonna stay all day. And you can layer her to get a big boom in color, or you can just kind of barely put your finger in there to get a nice subtle lip cheek. So just look at that. Hello, spring. Even though today the clouds this morning looked like snow, I was like, oh, please, no. Did rain a little bit, but you look at this blend. Like you just get the perfect amount of blush or it's not too overpowering, almost just like a natural flushed cheek. So I love all the other brushes too, but I'm just showing you the amazingness of the blend brush. And this is all I used. In fact, I didn't even use my vanilla dust or my bronzer. So it was just the basics with the blend brush. And I have some dimension and some life put back into me. A little bit of glow little bit of Dahlia to pink up those cheeks and lips. And that'll be it. Um, if you need any help with colors at all, um, even deciding which ones would look good on you, I love to help with that. Like going off your eye color and your skin tone and your undertones, I like to help pick colors. So if you want an eyeshadow little palette, let me know, or some lip cheeks for fun ones for the summer. I would love to work with you and help you pick out colors for you. Um, I also have a couple party spots open in June, and um, I'd love to fill those up. I make them super fun, I promise. And you always get a free brush for hosting a party, so it's a win-win. And um, yeah, 
I hope you have a great day. And I'm here for all of your saint needs. If you have questions or problems, please let me know. I love to help and troubleshoot with people. So I hope you have a good day. Bye.